Hello fellow builders and welcome to the Friday update for February the 26th in the year of our Lord 2021. Unfortunately, I was on the road for work the majority of this week, so we didn't get a whole lot done on the helmet. What did we get done? Where are we at now? Okay, so I've got the tape, the front taped off so that I can capture the front portion for the visor for which I picked up another one today so all I have to do is peel that off of there peel it on there cut it out with the snips we're good to go I did have so this was the one if you remember that was printed upside down and so I'm trying to rebuild the top of this this helmet and I'm at a crossroads now it's, it's a little bit dusty with all the sanding um, so there is a detail here of a thin line that separates the mohawk into three sections. And I lost that detail on the top. So I need to either take my Bondo and fill in the front and the back, or I need to try and re rescribe that line in there. The problem is, is I have the line starting here and it's starting way back here in the back. And at first I thought I was gonna take my calipers and you could take your calipers and set them to the width of what you need and then you can use the, the tips of the calipers to scribe in, um, you know, scribe in the, that detail and then I could follow it in by a, a, a knife or something. That is actually how I use on the Stormbreaker, where it inserts into the hammer. That's how I, I knew where to sand. I measured the depth of the hole, and then I just took this, and I just scribed all the way around, and that's how I knew how much I needed to sand off to where this will fit snugly into the Stormbreaker. I tried it a little bit on, on here, but it wasn't working out for me. So the idea that I have now, I've got two options. So one, I can take a piece of styrene and line it up. I've got, this isn't the right one, but I've got one that's about the, almost exactly the same width as this. And I can start it on both ends, hold it down, and then have Mrs. Mediocre Bottler give, give me a Sharpie line connecting the two and then I can go in and I will have a visual thing described. That's option one. Option two is to just take the styrene and glue it over the top where that scribed section is and then turn it into a raised section. So We've got options there, but it's coming along. It's it's we we're we're gonna get there. We still haven't figured out what color we're gonna make it. I'm thinking about since on my helmet I made it kind of a combination of my colors and the Mandalorian colors. I might just do this all silver like the Mandalorian's helmet. Haven't decided yet. We'll uh. Well, send in some suggestions of what you think we might try on this one, and we'll go from there. Now, last week we had the Arctic Vortex, and as you remember from last week, we had the power of the rolling power outages, which killed my print for the Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker actually did finally get printed. And we have the pieces here. I'm actually working on that video, but for a quick preview, there you have it. There's there's the storm break. There there's here's our our hammerhead. I'm trying a couple different things. For one, I've already coated in the XTC 3D to see how well this works to get rid of the print lines as opposed to using the Bondo. Uh, 
I have some ideas on that of, of how I feel about that, but you'll have to wait till you'll have to tune in to the Stormbreaker video to see the outcome of that. So it gives you a reason to come back. But just to give you an idea of size, of the massiveness of this thing, my original first thought was using this axe handle. You know, I've had this, I had an axe and got it broken and. And let, actually, I didn't do it. My son did it. But uh, I did never get rid of it because I thought I would be able to use it for something else in the future. I had no idea it was going to be for something like this. But I'm glad I kept it around. But this is a massive handle. So you got that. You have the blade. And you get those two socked together. Already you can see, nice snug fit. Already you can see this thing's gonna be big. I mean, and then you throw the handle in there and the handle will be epoxied straight in place. That, that is scarily huge. <laughs> but, oh, there you go. Yeah, but that's, I like it. I think it's, that's what it needs to be okay so we still have the top open this is for the the medallion that was on uh, Mjolnir that says he who wields this hammer commands the lightning uh, I'm gonna put that on there the only other thing I was thinking about doing is going and redesigning this to where it could take the shorter handle that's on like Mjolnir and that will probably be the one that I would redesign and put on Thingiverse for everyone else to download but for the most part everything's come along pretty well I'm very happy with with our progress so far so, the other thing was I think we were talking about making vibroblade so I was thinking about redesigning the center section so we could have two blades and a handle that will go down that road in the Stormbreaker video. But, all right, for the time being, that's all I've got for you. Check in with me. Hopefully, we'll get the. Uh, we're going to start working on the Stormbreaker. I'm sure that that's not going to be a one-day thing. We're going to have to break that into maybe two or three videos to get that get that printed. But look for that in the new future. And again, don't forget that I will be appearing on the Interfleet Broadcasting um, uh, Facebook Ten Centon segment on March the 25th. They did actually have. A, uh, their interview with John Jackson Miller and I would encourage you to go check it out he's a cool guy it was a really good interview so check that out and I think that's it so until next week have fun be safe go build something Pew, 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 pew.